Okay, this video we're going to have a little bit of fun with exponents. Yes, exponents can be fun. So let's start really basic though. This is going to be our level one intro to exponents. So 4 squared. What exactly does that mean? Well, it means 4 times itself. 1 times. So 4 times 4. That is the same as 4 squared. In this case, that equals 16. So now we know 4 squared equals 16. What about 4 cubed? What exactly does that mean? Well, 4 times itself three times. And this equals 64, which isn't really that important, but it's good to know that 4 cubed is simply 4 times itself three times. Now what happens if we multiply 4 to the third times 4 squared? Now we're dealing with rules of exponents. So instead of trying to think back to what was that rule again when we're multiplying, let's think of this intuitively. This is 4 to the third right here, right? How many fours do we have? We have three fours. This over here is two fours. How many fours? Two. Makes sense. Four times four times four. That matches up with four cubed and four times four matches up with four squared. And we're simply multiplying it. What are we doing? Well, we're adding three plus two. So we know that four to the third times four squared equals four to the fifth. So when you multiply, again, taking these three fours, multiplying it times those two fours, therefore we add. And so that's great to see that now intuitively, you don't necessarily have to rely so much on, oh, was it adding these or was it multiplying them? So let's take now four to the third, four cubed, and now let's take it to the second power. What are we doing? Well, again, we know that four to the third, three fours, and now we're gonna square something. Remember over here, whenever we square something, we multiply it by itself. So 4 cubed times itself is another 4 cubed. And that's the same as taking 3 and multiplying it times 2. So 4 cubed squared is 4 to the 6, or 3 times 2 is 6, or 3, and then another 3 gives us 4 to the 6. Okay, so those are little rules of exponents. Therefore, when you multiply, these guys are called the bases here, the big number below the exponents when the base is the same, and you're multiplying, you simply add the exponents here. If you're dealing with the exponent to the exponent, 4 cubed squared, then simply multiply this times this. And one little thing at the very end, let's take 4 6 one last time. In terms of 2, what does that equal? Let's just put an x up there. Well, we can go backwards here and make this number a little smaller. The thing is, we want the bases to be the same when we compare things. So 4 can become 2 squared. So now it's a little bit smaller. It's not 4, but it's 2. And 2 squared is 4. So I've taken this 4 change it into this, but I don't want to forget that 6, so I bring the 6 up over here. And so, using the laws or the rules we just learned, when you have an exponent to an exponent, you multiply. So 2 to the square, 2, two, two times 6 is 12. So 4 to the 6 equals 2 to the 12. In this case, x would equal 12. So if you get everything here, if that makes sense in this video, you're ready to go on to level number 2.